Bengal cat versus Egyptian Mao cat. What are the differences between these two cat breeds? The Bengal could never be called delicate. He is an athlete, agile and graceful with a strong, muscular body, as befits a cat who looks as if he belongs in the jungle. His broad head is a modified wedge shape, longer than it is wide, with rounded contours. Atop it is medium sized to small ears that are relatively short, set toward the side of the head. Large oval eyes are almost round. Joining the head to the body is a long, muscular neck. Supporting the body are medium length legs, slightly longer in the back than in the front, with large, round paws. A thick, medium length tail tapers at the end and is tipped in black. When a Bengal rolls over, you can see that another characteristic is a spotted belly. Enhancing the Bengal's wild appearance is a short, thick pelt that feels luxuriously soft and silky. It comes in several colors and patterns, including brown tabby, seal mink tabby, black silver tabby, and seal silver lynx point. The coat can be spotted randomly or in horizontal patterns, or it can be marbled, with horizontal stripes arranged randomly on a lighter background. Some Bengals have a coat that is described as glittered. The fur shimmers in the light as if it were tipped with gold dust. The Mao's most striking characteristic is his spotted coat in silver, bronze, or smoke, pale silver fur tipped in black, closely followed by his large gooseberry green eyes. He is a medium-sized cat with a muscular body and a slightly rounded wedge-shaped head topped with medium-sized to large ears. With hind legs slightly longer than the front legs, he gives the appearance of standing on tiptoe on his small, dainty feet. A medium long tail is thick at the base, tapering slightly at the end. The medium-length coat has a silky, fine texture in the smoke coloration and a dense, resilient texture in the silver and bronze colors. The body is covered randomly with distinct spots that can be small or large, and round, oblong, or other shapes. The forehead bears an M shape, the cheeks are adorned with mascara lines, and the tail is banded, ending with a dark tip. On the pale belly are dark spots that resemble vest buttons. In addition to the silver, bronze, and smoke colors, mouse can come in solid black, blue silver, blue spotted, blue smoke, and solid blue, but these colors are not permitted in the show ring. These cats of a different color make fine pets, however, sharing all the other characteristics of the Mao. The Bengal is highly active and highly intelligent. This makes him fun to live with, but he can sometimes be challenging. On the whole, the Bengal is a confident, talkative, friendly cat who is always alert. Nothing escapes his notice. He likes to play games, including fetch, and he's a whiz at learning tricks. His nimble paws are almost as good as hands, and it's a good thing he doesn't have opposable thumbs or he would probably rule the world. Fond of playing in the water, the Bengal is not above jumping into the tub or strolling into the shower with you. Aquarium and pond fish may be at risk from his clever paws. He also loves to climb and can often be found perching at the highest point he can reach in the home. A tall cat tree or two is a must for this feline, as are puzzle toys that will challenge his intelligence. On the rare occasions that he isn't swinging on chandeliers or swimming in your pool, the affectionate Bengal will be pleased to sit on your lap. It goes without saying that he will share your bed. And yes, he steals the covers. When the Egyptian Mao is happy, you know it. He vocalizes, called chortling in a quiet, pleasant voice, swishes his tail rapidly, and kneads with his front paws. What makes him happy is being with his family, to whom he is fiercely devoted, or showing off his hunting prowess by chasing and retrieving a tossed toy or stalking and pouncing on a wriggling lure at the end of a fishing pole toy. This is a moderately to the highly active cat. He likes to jump and climb and will appreciate a tall cat tree, a window perch or two, and a sturdy scratching post that allows him to stretch out to full height. The Mao also enjoys playing in the water. Don't be surprised to find him dipping a paw into your koi pond or aquarium, turning on the tap in the bathroom or kitchen, or splashing water out of your pool, or his water dish. The Egyptian Mao prefers family members to anyone else. When he's not playing fetch, he enjoys sitting in a lap and being worshipped, just as his ancestors may have been. The Mao has the distinction of being the fastest domestic house cat, as she can run at speeds of up to 30 miles per hour. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Their diet should consist of no more than 5% carbohydrates and most of their protein should come from an animal source. It's hard to accomplish this nutritional requirement by providing only dry food as most commercially available dry food contains a lot of carbohydrates, fillers, plant protein, and other ingredients that are not natural for a cat to eat. Another important consideration is your cat's water intake. 
Cats in the wild get most of their hydration from their diet, not by actually drinking water as most people think. Although you can make up some of the water loss by providing a bowl or fountain of water, it's still not usually enough to cover the difference. If your cat is healthy and doesn't have special dietary requirements, then mainly wet food with dry food being supplementary and raw food being optional will likely be fine. Unless your cat has an exceptional ability to self-regulate its eating, it's not a good idea to leave out unlimited food all day, especially dry food. It's okay to leave dry or wet food out all day if you use measured portions that make sense for your cat's weight and activity level. The short, thick coat of the Bengal is easily cared for with weekly combing to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. A bath is rarely necessary. The Egyptian mouse coat is easily cared for with weekly combing to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. A bath is rarely necessary. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep the litter box spotlessly clean. Cats are very particular about bathroom hygiene, and a dirty box may cause them to start using other places in the house instead. It's a good idea to keep Bengal and Egyptian Mao as indoor-only cats to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Keeping them indoors also protects local birds and wildlife from these avid hunters. If possible, build your Bengal and Egyptian Mao a large outdoor enclosure where they can jump and climb safely. Bengals and Egyptian mouse who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. The active and social Bengal and the playful Mao are a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. They will play fetch as well as any retriever, learns tricks easily, and loves the attention they receive from children who treat them politely and with respect. They're smart enough to get out of the way of toddlers but love school-age children because they are a match for his energy level and curiosity. Nothing scares them certainly not dogs, and they will happily make friends with them if they don't give them any trouble. Always introduce any pets, even other cats, slowly and in a controlled setting. Like many active cats, Bengals and Egyptian Mao have a high prey drive and should not be trusted with smaller prey animals such as hamsters, smaller rabbits, and guinea pigs. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.